all right hey y'all how you living how you feeling how you doing oh uh, we're gonna do a little i heard i was about to say a mighty message um so whatever it is reading is gonna be very it's gonna be small but powerful so you could be small but powerful <clears throat> mighty but strong small but strong but i'm getting like small but mighty i like that strong but mighty Okay, right now I got 448 on my dash. It's 810 right now. Any of those numbers could be of significance. We're going to get a message and see what's going on. You already know the vibe. Okay. But hello, how are you doing? How are you living? How are you feeling? My name is in the process. Um, <laughs> For right now, it's curry to go fuck you me it's curry to go if you ain't know now you know um i am changing my name if you are watching this i will be putting in my community board that i'm going to be changing my name to curry to go okay um gay yeah, you already dig you already dig you already know the vibes i feel like that's that's me curry to go fuck you talking about yeah it's real chill over here i don't want to be a tarot pissed. i don't want to be your home homegirl I, I don't want to be none of that shit I just want to thrive in my autonomy. I fuck with my last name. I want to carry my generation's name on. My ancestor's name on. <sighs> and leave a legacy. Curry, I'm curry to go. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, so spirit, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Hey, let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Hey, spirit, what do you have? For the collective, the ones who are mighty but strong, small but powerful, the gems, living gems. Y'all are living gems. Y'all are living, precious creatures from above, from the ethers. I heard from the ethereal minds. Damn. <laughs> Y'all are creatures from the depths of a very galactic but mystical place y'all are y'all is unheard of okay whoa the devil and y'all don't even know y'all don't even understand y'all power that's the thing that's holding y'all back the devil in this case i'm not i'm not getting no sinister typical you know symbolism from this card i'm getting that is what is holding you back you're not knowing how much and how valuable you are and like how generous your gifts are and how valuable your gifts are you're that's why you're so precious because you're a rarity you're a gem you're valuable you possess a lot of spiritual knowledge you possess gifts that people didn't want you to know about you possess gifts that I don't know, I'm getting some about somebody crying. Somebody could have sent you home crying or somebody was sent, I don't know why that came up, but I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. Hmm, with the world. I feel like so you were you were left out of knowing how valuable your gifts are because of energy projecting onto you it's stagnancy whether this is people places or situations that you were put in these situations were meant to leave you out in the cold and try to, to, to delay you from knowing how powerful i'm about to cry like i'm i'm really feeling like what the fuck with this fucking star you're healing this you're healing your faith you're healing that gift you're healing your ability to prophesy to heal to give insight to to know you have like valuable knowledge about things that people wouldn't have even fathom knowing but when you come into people's life and you share your gifts they realize how much they've been missing out on they realize how much to life they haven't really truly experienced because it was nothing on the physical that could have brought that knowledge to them 
in re in their their reality. But when you came along, you gave them some spiritual depth. And and wow, you bring healing to people's demons. You bring healing to people's lower vibrational energies, because it's like you almost partake in what they go through. You partake in their demon activity you 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 face people's demons head on and you heal that shit and people don't think we be healing shit but we be healing shit because our presence is healing that's why you cannot part participate in everything that's why you cannot allow everyone to have access to you because when you have access to them you also are having access with their demons and their angels and vice versa so i'm i'm here to say whoa <laughs> whoa okay that devil is saying by us coming together by us being in the presence of certain individuals you are signing contracts with their energies as well okay so whenever what they give to you you give to them what's giving it it's an equal exchange of energies okay damn Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm just getting angelic energy, pure, innocent energy. When you... I'm telling you, bro. When you come the fuck along... Look at the fuck... No! You transmute the fucking energy from the devil, bitch, to the motherfucking lovers. Come on, now. If you don't like cursing, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go. You know what I'm saying? It get real passionate in this bitch. But understand, understand me. You bring some pure, innocent, angelic presence to these demons, these devils, these these spirits. Somehow intoxicate. Like your energy is intoxicating. Your energy is damn near ob uh, obsessive. Your energy is damn near addicting. Because they ain't, it's like they thirst for this pure energy. So it's like you could um, come across a lot of uh, energy vampires, narcissists, shit like that. Okay? Um, because your energy, and then Page of Cups with the Fool. <laughs> your, 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 this leap of life mindset that you have this ability to take on opportunities like it's nothing the ability to just go on an adventure however you feel see fit for the day you act on that mindset and you allow something to be transmuted and brought together like it's nothing like it's so on brand for you like when people think about you when people think about living life they think about you <laughs> when people <laughs> when people think about just going after the dreams they think of you i know my lights were not just on i did not turn my brights on y'all i did not turn my lights on whoa what the hell <laughs> queen of, bro you bro you bring these people love light you bro because you're you have compassion and you literally be nurturing demons, whether they're because you've nurtured your own, you've nurtured, and you you have the ability to nurture others. Damn, the same energy you literally transmute it, because from the you you do you healing you healing your demons from the inside out. That's beautiful. That's literally the most beautiful shit I've ever read. <laughs> Yo, I saw it was 918 on my clock and it's 819. So something is read backwards. So when you see something, when you, uh, I'm getting manga, manga, ma manga comic books, you read them backwards, correct? Anime. Wow. You're allowed to be a healer. And it's not just, oh, I want to be a healer today. No. When you're allowed to be a healer, when you can heal yourself. 
you can only call yourself a healer if if, if you you've went into the dark spaces of yourself and faced your own demons head the fuck on that's when you can call yourself a healer because you bring this you bring this gentleness you bring this light-hearted energy very it's almost like people think and it's like people kind of prey on it because they think you're naive but it's only because you they've never come into contact with some energy like this you allow people to take chances you allow your love for life to be induced into other people Look, it goes from the devil to the fool card. You see the difference? These are so, this is, this so, like, what? These are, these are almost, if you, huh. If people could only imagine the shit that you've been through, they wouldn't even understand how the fuck you got here. They wouldn't even understand what type of shit you was wrapped up with, trapped up with, held back with, strapped up with. They wouldn't even imagine the load of fuck shit you've been through. To be at this type of energy, it was all because you. It was all because you became curious. It was all because you took a leap of faith in wanting to know more about yourself. Of wanting to know, it was all about you trusting your intuition. It was all about you letting your fears. Le unleashing your fears out the way page of wands it was all because you took that first leap you took you were curious you were activated something within you is is being activated at this moment whether you whether it's once you've heard this message and moving forward or this is what you're going through at this moment you are spirit is calling you to become activated in this moment Mm-hmm. Cause this this I'm hearing plot twist. This activation is having an effect. Damn. <laughs> it's having an effect on your finances. One, two, three, four. Going within because some um the way you feel within is gonna how is gonna be how what you produce without. So if you're feeling low vibrational your money could be fucked up but something is being intake in if something i'm getting something about spiritual intake spiritual evaluation checking in with yourself doing that shadow work yeah you're taking the time out to transmute energy to connect back within yourself into any emotions that have been suppressed or um unveiled because with the high priestess that's you not being afraid to go into the darkness, to go and meet your demons, to see what's inside, what needs to be healed, what needs to be uh, looked into, evaluated, analyzed. But at a spiritual capacity, I don't know what else I was going to say after that. <sighs> Trusting your intuition. Three of Cups. This is not something that someone can do for you. This is... This is taking a look outside of who you are with your friends, of who you are with your family. Um, who who are you? That's the question I'm picking up. Who are you? Who are you without the emotional ties to these people? Who are you? And I feel like the devil with the three of cups, you are moving away from certain low vibrational energy because you're realizing without these people around, you're having this sense of loneliness. 14, 14. You're having a sense of loneliness without... Life almost be feeling boring. I'm, I'm kind of picking up four of cups energy. Life do be getting boring when you still do start to heal because you're you're so used to the chaotic shit going on in your life that because there was things in your life that was tr your, your unhealed trauma your unresolved trauma was causing the chaos so when you've healed those unresolved trauma you be thinking life is boring 
and it's not it's actually you're fucking experiencing peace my boy my girl that's how life is supposed to feel it's not supposed to feel traumatic dramatic chaotic violent angry uh, like it's not supposed to it's supposed to feel serene tranquil calm relaxed your mind is at peace it's still it's chill that's how you know you are at a good point in your life to just inhale and exhale with no worries you're not waiting for the other shoe to drop because when it comes it comes but ain't no need to look for unnecessary shit you've gotten to that point y'all we've got wow hallelujah okay we've been waiting for that Woo. Mm. curiosity killed the cat that's what i heard we got this queen <laughs> yo literally somebody said curiosity killed the cat 555 changes here so whatever change is coming your curiosity cats are very wise cats are cats are intuitive as hell hmm Hmm. Hmm. Five of Cups with the Empress. Somebody's thinking back. No, is this thinking back? No, this is somebody walking away. Wow. I'm hearing it's time for someone to step up to the plate and take in their position as Empress. Five of Cups, Empress. But then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So something could have been. That's so funny because I just, it's like people think they take things away from you, but the only thing that people can do is delay because what was meant for you to be that was placed in the contract that you signed with God before you came here is going to continuously happen. Like, yes, we make choices, but at the end of the day, there are certain guidelines that do have to be followed. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yes, that Five of Cups with that Two of Swords. Something is being recognized. Something is being, um, somebody is kind of being enlightened. Four of Swords with the Two of Swords in the reverse, 1717. Sorry, air got to come back on. Um, somebody's waking up. Somebody's waking up. Like, you're, whatever you, like, I'm clapping, like. Like, yes, like, get up, get activated, let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> so I feel like something is being activated. I heard heart chakra and throat chakra. We have, a, we have a lot of gray area because I feel like the intuition is the gray area. You kind of have the logical side of things, which is like this and this. But then in the middle is the gray area, which is you having to rely on your intuition. That's when you become this fool because you're on the thin line between being a fool and stepping into the fool, fuels, the fool's journey. Something, But something is fueling you, I'm getting. A to A, something about manifesting. So the storyline of that movie, that series was basically, they basically came into life five years <clears throat> later okay but then i can't even tell y'all that but basically y'all could be time traveling or quantum leaping is what i'm getting every time i see that that uh 828 i think a manifest because it's literally like you time traveled back to find the answer about something or you're solving a mystery about a connection to your past or how your your past connects to your present some some shit in between some shit between then and now or the time from when you was a child a toddler infant teenager till now how something is correlating together how something is connecting moving forward from the chaos moving away from the chaos real up oh, truth you 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 coming across the truth, you finding the clarity that you need. God is giving you the clarity to move away from anything that was causing you chaos. And with that was actually low vibrational energies that was holding you back. That's how you became strong but mighty. Strong but powerful. Small, you know, whatever I said, shit. <laughs> Not a cups, you became comfortable and accepting of yourself. You found the true essence of you without 
being attached to anything or anyone. This is true. This is true aut autonomy. This is true peace. And a lot of I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of motherfuckers don't like you like this. <laughs> I don't know why I just got that. A lot of people don't like you when you just I don't care because this is you not attached to anyone's low vibrational frequencies, critical feedback, opinions, projections of you, of them, 2020. You see clearly that these were only projections of how they feel, not who you actually the fuck are. What God says goes, what you say goes. But it's also what you believe that you are. If you continuously believe that you are the things that people are telling you, you are committing to that. Therefore, therefore observing, ob, excuse me, absorbing that frequency. By you even taking the time to observe what the fuck they're saying or doing, you are spiritually taking on that energy as your own. And we not doing that shit no more. We are not doing the energy transfers no more with these negative ass motherfuckers. Shred up. Yeah, because whatever that energy was, whatever energy you was working with, it was causing you to become not confident in yourself. This this truth might have been hard to hear or hard to find out, but you got to be honest with yourself that this these this this was it was keeping you held back. This trauma, this this um, neglect, neglect of self, neglect of how you're truly feeling, neglecting your heart and where your heart really wants to go. Putting one foot in front of the other, the hermit. This is either... Because <sighs> I almost got avoiding the truth, but then it's almost like expressing with that eight of wands what you're wanting to do what do you want to do what do you want out of life who do you want to be with two 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 when you see yourself what group of people is that in line in a, in alignment with when you see you who do you see yourself attracting or walking towards what where do you see yourself being accepted because why would you want to be around a whole bunch of people who are attached to unhealed parts of you and all and it's like you feel uncomfortable you feeling uncomfortable because they're you they don't you don't resonate with them <laughs> you don't resonate with them and i and i i commend anyone who actually does take that leap of faith and not only wants better for themselves but it takes a true brave person to go out on a limb like this it takes a true person to be adventurous and to take advantage of new opportunities and new experience and not letting fear hold us back. Not letting the fear of failure, not letting the fear of rejection, not letting the fear of how we look based off of other people. That takes bravery, courage, that takes fucking tenacity, that takes, that means you're an in-charge motherfucker and you take risk and you are taking literally control of your life by not living up to anybody else's objectives or, or narratives. That's a real motherfucker. That's a real motherfucker. You are defined by what you do and how you treat people and your fucking character, not who you're attached to, not the material things, but who you are spiritually. And who you are true, who, who are you? That's, I keep getting, picking up that question. Who are you? This is a time, somebody's having like a whole identity crisis. But by you even, bro, bro, by you releasing these things, you're, you're figuring it out. You've looked at things from multiple perspectives and I feel like someone is becoming enlightened about the truth because all the things that was hidden, is coming to the light. You're understanding. That's the crown chakra energy. And the root is at the bottom. Because you're firming your foundation. And you're fucking solid. Yes. Dropping all those unnecessary burdens. Picking up your energy. Picking up your sword. And taking that shit by the hand. You, you swing your truth in the motherfucking air. You don't even care. Wave your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Okay. I know that's right. You deserve that. You deserve to want more for yourself you deserve to want better for yourself you deserve to want 
people who love you and it's not even that because i feel like people always use that love thing i feel like people always use that love thing to get out of shit i people i think people say oh if you love me you do it somebody who loves you not gonna say that shit Somebody who said, that's manipulation. Someone is never, if somebody ever says, oh, if you love me, you'll do it. Fuck no. You are manipulated. Get the fuck out of my face. They are deceiving you. Because no one that truly loves you would, would say something that would risk you being a better version of yourself. Someone who says some shit like that would never put you in the position to choose them over yourself. You love yourself first <laughs> you love yourself first y'all was in that bit like <laughs> you love yourself first period i don't mean to be pointing at y'all but i i get i get fired up no one would never put you in the business to say if you love me hell no nah, bitch i love me more than i love you fuck like i love you but i love me more I love you, but I love me more. So if I got a dip, I got a dip. No one would never make you choose you over them, them over you. If you got to choose you, baby, do you. If you got to walk away from me to be a better motherfucker, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to have no choice but to let you go because I'm like, you know what? If I'm really hindering a motherfucker's process, if I'm really hindering a motherfucker's ascension, I got to let them go because that's how you really show a motherfucker you love them when you let them go. When you let them go. That's how you really know you love a motherfucker when you let them go. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, Spirit, we talking a lot, but I just need one more car shot. I need one more car. Ooh. Wow. 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 Alignment. Divine timing. That's the title card. That's that confirmation. That's that confirmation, baby. I'm I'm up front with it. I'm up front with it. I'm I'm I also heard don't judge a book by its cover. Cause I heard like a front like I heard up front and then I heard the front cover, like you're the front cover or something. So it's like this is like at face value. But this is at the core. Ooh. Don't judge a book by its cover. Ten of motherfucking cups. That's ultimate happiness. 27, 27. That's ultimate happiness. Damn, expansion? What do you Bitch, who do you love? You. <laughs> bitch, who do you love? Don't know, bitch, you. <laughs> I shouldn't even have to fight with it. People are going to... Wow. I, sh I shouldn't, yeah. I'm telling you, a lot of people don't like when you get to a certain level of acceptance and self-love. Because then it's almost like you're having to fight other people about you. That don't even make no sense. Like... That don't even make no sense. You feel me? This is like white picket fence. Whatever version of like ultimate happiness, like wish fulfillment is yours. And you're taking action or you're waiting for this to come in. But I feel like with the moon being in the upright, it's not shown yet. It's, it's something that's deep within you. And I feel like once you uncover or you escape the devil like your fears your inhibitions um let go oh oh that's my shit let go of your inhibitions feel the rain on your skin no one else can do it for you only you can let it in that's that look natasha benefit what y'all know about that what y'all know about that this is you loving yourself oh, i fucking love this yes i love this feel the rain yes you gotta feel it you gotta feel whatever chaotic energy you gotta feel whatever rumbling in your tummy like what's going on you gotta feel that chaotic energy within you to get to this you got to feel truly whatever is going on within you. Like, listen. You got to listen. Not just with your ears, but with your heart. Okay? In order for something to truly be within you, in order for you to go on your divine assignment, don't continue to ignore yourself. Don't, ex don't, ex don't do that. 
I can't tell you what to do, but I can only tell you there's a lot of injustice here because it's about you at this time. Ain't nobody else. It's the ain't about nobody else. You're going to have to be a little selfish with you right now, baby. You're going to have to be a little selfish with you right now. And if you got to do that, do that. And if the people who around you who don't fucking understand that, they got to go. <laughs> they got to go. If they can't understand, you got some shit to do. And you ain't even really got to explain to a motherfucker what you got going on. But if you want to, you can. It's up to you. Say, look, I got to go on this self-love journey for me. I got to work some shit out for me. I, I can't I can't be there for you and me at this time. I do not have this, the emotional and physical capacity at this time. And somebody say, okay. They say, all oh, right, you good. Take your time. Do you. But if a motherfucker gets sorry... And sad and mad and blow up on you. Oh, you said you were gonna fuck no. <laughs> what, bitch? I'm looking at you crazy and walking away. That means they ah uh, uh, and ah uh, fuck you mean. All right, <laughs> y'all. All right. That's all I got, y'all. I did. We we did a we did the big one with that one. Okay, I like that energy for y'all. Okay, fuck with it, fuck with it. Um, if you like this, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, and I I love y'all, peaceful motherfuckers. I love y'all so much. Um, until the next one, I see y'all. Peace.